dollar, dollar, dollar. Dirt and money, no soul. Had to go and get it, ain't no time to kick it. Got a stack of flip for my foes. Dollar, 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 dollar. Please tell me you can hear me. Don't turn your back and don't declare me. Just let me know if you need me. Dollar, 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 dollar. Let me watch out for my partners. Keep my money long, get my team strong. Let me run away from my problems. Yo, what's good, original crew? It's your boy DJ Nuki, your girl. Sierra Nicole. We back on the channel with another. Kit and see original. Welcome back to the channel, man. Welcome back. And we got 10 animals that hunt humans today. Yeah, you heard that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. And I read it, but it didn't like It didn't register. It didn't yeah. click to you till mm -hmm. I said it. Till you said it out loud. You're like, damn, mm -hmm. that is kind of fucked up, dog, bro. <laughs> But with that being said, man, before we get into this good one, man, make sure y'all check out the links in the description box down below. You already know where to go. If you want to further support the channel, just always check out down below. Mm -hmm. Also, shout out to the comment of the day. Y'all already know what we're doing, man. We always, from here on out, going to be doing comments of the day. So, we want to shine light on y'all for shining light on us. But with that being said, again, we got 10 animals that hunt humans today. You ready? I think. All right, with that being said, one of <laughs> you said kind of woke you up. I said my voice got a little deep. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it. Let's check it out. Let's see what's about, y'all. <laughs> Number 10, dingoes. The dingo is a lean bodied and agile species of canid native to Australia. The animal is generally viewed as a feral dog since it likely hails from domesticated ancestors. When British colonists first settled the continent, they found these creatures living with indigenous Australians. Nowadays, dingoes survive independently from humans and form packs that can take down animals as large as red kangaroos, feral horses, or water buffaloes. Throughout the country's developmental history, they have massively preyed on livestock. Measures to control them have included dingo fences, guardian dogs, and poisoning, all with limited support. Man, you think that guardian dog gonna stop a whole pack of dingoes? <laughs> no way. <laughs> you, you're like, no I, ain't, way. I ain't trying to say it like that, but like, what I that mean, little dog gonna do? I think so. It's a little ding dong, honey. That ain't gonna, <laughs> that ain't gonna, nah, gonna stop no dingo. Says, <laughs> while they prefer avoiding humans, several fatal incidents have been reported. The case of Azaria Chamberlain is the most prominent example of dingoes hunting humans. While on a camping trip with her parents, the two-month-old girl was snatched by a dingo from the family's tent. Her body was never found. <gasps> Prosecutors didn't believe Azaria's mother, who'd maintained that a dingo had taken her baby. The woman was charged with murder and spent three years in prison. She was released after a strip of her daughter's clothing was found near a dingo lair, thus prompting a new investigation. Number nine. African crowned eagles. That, that's messed up, that's though. That's messed up. That's man. messed up, man. Like, like she told y'all what it was. But you know. So. According to one theory, African crowned eagles could involuntarily have contributed to human evolution. Fossil evidence from South Africa seems to indicate that this bird or one of its close relatives preyed on our primate ancestors. As such, they evolved towards larger bodies and brains in order to escape becoming its victims. The African crowned eagle, recognized as the continent's most powerful eagle, might be the only bird of prey to actively target human children. In one case, an African crowned eagle ambushed a seven-year-old boy and plunged its talons through the child's throat and chest. In another incident, the severed arm of a young girl was found in a tall tree, known for being an eagle cache. More gruesome still, the skull of a child was discovered in a crowned eagle nest. 90% of the creature's diet is mammalian and its strength is a thing of legend. The crowned eagle is reportedly capable of lifting prey items heavier than itself in flight. The squeeze of its talons produces such force that it can actually crush the skull of small primates. Number eight, coyotes. Because of their size. Oh yeah, this one, this one kind of, you know what I'm saying, in the States we are, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because even in West Tennessee, they got coyotes, yeah. you know what I'm saying? So that's been known about this. Coyotes don't really pose a fatal threat to most healthy adult human beings. Even the largest coyote species really weigh above 44 pounds, meaning that they're only about four times heavier than the average household cat. Nevertheless, 
These canids have well-developed predatory instincts and are known as the primary livestock predators in North America. Recent years have also seen a rise in attacks on humans. This is particularly true for the state of California. It's mainly the result of people, either purposefully or inadvertently, feeding coyotes roaming the outskirts of urban establishments. In consequence, these beasts gradually start to lose their fear of humans. Urban coyotes have confronted people walking their pets, chased cyclists and joggers, as well as stalked children. The death of three-year-old Kelly Keen is often cited among the most gruesome coyote-related incidents. Kelly was watching TV at her home in Glendale when her mother left to run some errands. The child let herself out the front door, at which point a coyote took her in its mouth and dragged her through the streets. Kelly had already sustained critical damage before her father intervened and chased the coyote away. She ultimately succumbed to blood loss and a broken neck. Number seven, Komodo. So she, she still. She was still alive, but when the dad was able to get there, but she still in a passing. Still messed up, though. That is so messed up, yeah. Dragons. Komodo dragons are the largest extant lizard species and basically look like dinosaurs that are still roaming the planet. They're only found on islands in the Indonesian archipelago and have been known to hunt humans. Because of the remoteness of their native habitats, predatory attacks often go unreported. The Komodo dragon owns several physical attributes that make it a fearsome predator. Its body is covered in bony plates called osteoderms, acting like natural chainmail armor. Its bite is quick, vicious, and the dragon's serrated teeth are capable of producing deep, lacerating damage. As the massive lizard bites into its prey, toxic proteins secreted by glands in its lower jaw seep into the open wound. Symptoms of envenomation include muscle paralysis, inhibiting blood clotting, and the induction of hypothermia. Number six. Remind me never to come across one of them motherfuckers. Them motherfuckers. Woo! You yeah. see what they had? How they, how they yes. did that cow? Oh, I don't Ooh. even want to talk about it. Ticks. Ticks are arachnids, meaning they're part of the same mm. animal class as spiders and scorpions. Remember not too long ago. I don't think that that's what that was. That was a tick. It was. I don't think so. What do you think it was? A tick. These parasites feed on the blood of animals ranging from mammals to birds and even some reptiles. Almost all species are distributed into two families, commonly known as hard-bodied ticks and soft-bodied ticks. They'll use their mouth parts to pierce through the host's skin and start feeding on its blood. Their pear-shaped bodies are engorged as they feed, becoming almost several hundred times heavier. When it comes to humans, ticks are vectors for a number of dangerous viruses and bacteria. Tick-borne disease include, among others, Lyme disease, Crimea. That, that was it. Okay, you got to. And it had bit me. <laughs> but I, I caught mine. Well, damn, dude. My bad. <laughs> but my, I had caught mine so like right when he had did it. So I was yeah. able to... And I flushed him down the toilet. Actually, you're supposed to burn him. Mm-hmm. But I am. I was trying to think of getting rid of that mother little, little sucker <laughs> fast as fast as hurry, bruh. Korean Congo hemorrhagic fever and Ugh. Rocky Mountain spotted fever. In addition to being disease transmitters, they can also cause paralysis via a neurotoxin in their salivary gland. Ticks have several ways of identifying potential hosts. These include detecting their odors and breath, as well as sensing moisture, vibrations, or body heat. Ticks of the hard body variety will hunt via a technique called questing. They'll cling to plants with their first pair of legs outstretched, waiting to grasp and climb onto passing hosts. Number five, goose. That's why I be telling you, don't be walking all through the grass and stuff. Just, that, just that made my. That made your first girl. Just, it's just the thought of them though. Yeah. Like, it's nasty. Though. The giant devil catfish, also known as the Gunch, inhabits the rivers of the Indian subcontinent. It can grow to be nearly 6 feet 6 inches long and over 200 pounds heavy. This would make the creature relative to the height of the average NBA player while weighing about as much as a heavyweight boxer. Some catfish 
grow large enough to take on water buffaloes. There have been several reports of them preying on humans, but none quite as infamous as the Kali River Gunch attacks. From 1998 to 2007, several villages along the river in Nepal and India reported that man-eating fish were claiming locals' lives. The first victim, a teenager, was dragged below the surface right in front of his girlfriend. At least two fatalities followed. It's believed that the monstrous fish had developed a taste for human flesh after eating remains discarded from funeral pyres along the banks. The oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh no, that's See. that that is that's even See. jacked up what the funeral is doing. Yeah. But now y'all done created a whole nother monster. Mm-hmm. Bro, that's that's stopped as suddenly as they'd begun, but many villagers were still weary of going into the river. Number four, hippo. Perhaps the most bizarre aspect about hippos attacking humans is that they don't really need to do it. They're herbivores that feed almost exclusively on aquatic plants and grass. Yet, these notoriously aggressive beasts are often cited as being responsible for more human deaths than any other animals on the African continent. Not even humans in boats are safe, as hippos are often reported to charge and attack them. One high-profile incident was reported in Niger in 2014 when a hippo capsized a boat, killing 13 people. Merely witnessing a hippo doing its characteristic yawn is terrifying, as these animals can open their mouths to almost 180 degrees. The canine. Wow. 13 people, though. 13? Yeah. That's a lot. That is. I wonder if it was one hippo or a It had to be clan. multiple. Damn. He might be. As fat. these animals can open their mouths to almost 180 degrees, the canines can grow to be two feet, meaning they're longer than the average human forearm. Hippo teeth play no role in feeding and are used entirely for combat. Enormous jaw muscles aid in delivering a bone-breaking bite, which is why most predators tend to give hippos a wide berth. Additionally, their two-inch thick skin offers great protection during fights. Males never stop growing throughout their lives. One record-breaking specimen was reported at 9,920 pounds, which is about twice as heavy as an adult black rhino. Number three, human bot flies. Dermatobia hom- Human oh, bot, bot flies. flies? I never heard of this. Human bot flies. Not just flies, human bot This, okay. also known as the human bot fly, has a rather cunning way of ensuring its larvae grow inside a warm-blooded host. The female bot fly will use other species as vectors, including ticks or other flies such as mosquitoes. The bot fly will capture one of these species, then attach its eggs to its body. The eggs may find their way into a human host in various ways, including through the nose, ears, or an open wound. If they're traveling with a mosquito, the larvae may actually enter the human body through the mosquito's bite mark. For weeks, they grow in the subcutaneous layers of their host feeding on living tissue. It's a type of parasitic infection known as myasis. In some cases, the live maggots can actually be seen crawling beneath their victim's skin. Oh. Number two, sharks. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, that one, oh, one got me. Oh, no, what it's, oh, what it's, oh, that one, yeah. Oh, that, that hurt. Mm -hmm. oh. <laughs> Meg is under the skin. Oh. <laughs> Three shark species usually stand out among those that actively pursue humans as prey. These are tiger sharks, great whites, and bull sharks, each with their own terrifying attributes. For great white sharks, the largest extant predatory fish, it's all about size and strength. Exceptional females can grow to weigh up to 5,000 pounds and measure over 20 feet. There are unconfirmed specimens of even greater proportions. Great whites are responsible for the most fatal unprovoked attacks on humans. Bull sharks can thrive both in freshwater and marine environments, since salt is constantly circulated throughout their bodies. This creature is known to travel up rivers thousands of miles from the shore. Not only do they swim in shallow waters, 
but they're also territorial and aggressive. They may be responsible for a portion of the attacks on humans attributed to other shark species. Tiger sharks, second only to great whites in weight and bulk, have rather unique teeth. They have pronounced and extremely sharp serrations, while the tips point sideways. This dentition enables the tiger shark to cut through hard surfaces like bone or turtle shells, arguably better than any other shark species. You got too much killer going on. Bears are among nature's most powerful and imposing oh, yeah. predators. Most species are ferociously strong with a devastating bite and sharp claws that can easily tear through human flesh. Polar bears are often described as the planet's largest terrestrial carnivores, a position they share with Kodiak bears. It's worth mentioning that Kodiaks and other brown bear species generally avoid contact with humans, attacks usually being a form of defensive behavior. One study has found that in Canada and the US, most fatal black bear attacks on humans are predatory in nature. Essentially, a brown bear will attack if threatened, while a black bear will attack because it wants to eat. Polar bears, because they live in the remote north, have no ingrained fear of humans. As such, they won't hesitate to pursue them as prey. The hypercarnivorous apex predator is strong enough to drag fully grown seals out of the water. It has a crushing bite, around 1,200 psi, enough to crack a bowling ball. There's really nothing that an unarmed person can do against an attacking polar bear. Sloth bears are notoriously aggressive. They have huge canine teeth and massive sickle-shaped claws. In terms of raw figures, they attack humans more regularly than any other bear. On an annual basis, the number of fatal sloth bear attacks in one Indian district is roughly the same as for fatal brown bear attacks throughout their entire range. Thanks for watching. Would you rather be a oh, honey? Ooh. So let what? me just stay stay where I'm at. What you <laughs> yeah. said? None of that shit going on right. Where the ticks? Oh, yes. The ticks, you know what I'm saying? You can you can deal that with that, you know what I'm saying? The ticks, the ticks. The ticks here, you can kind of, you know what I'm saying? You you can do things to pre prevent, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The one that got me, though, was <laughs> the, the, oh, human, the human the butterfly. butterfly. Woo -hoo -hoo. Mm -hmm. Let me go get some off right now. I need to spray I don't down. Want no bro. Off. I just. I want to keep them off, so I'm going to use that off. That ain't going to help. <laughs> Hey man, but y'all make sure y'all spell those up in the comment section down below. Let us know what we should react to next so we can make sure we bring it over here, man. But as always, mm -hmm. I do go by the name DJ New Kid. This is We Are. We Are Y'all.